penalty kicks in this World Cup have been averaging around 70 miles per hour, which means balls can reach the goal in less than 400 milliseconds. That's 10% faster than a 90 mile per hour fastball reaches home plate. Now elite reaction times are typically around 150 milliseconds, but the subsequent action, like a goalie fully extending, takes at least another 500 milliseconds. That math means that a fast shot near a post is literally unstoppable, unless the goalie guesses correctly and starts moving before the shot. This is legal as long as he stays on his line. But a keeper who breaks the rule and jumps forward, supposedly cutting off the angle, isn't necessarily doing himself any favors. If he moves forward to intercept the ball three feet in front of the post, he reduces the ground he has to cover by about seven inches. But he has three hundredths of a second less time to get there. Excluding shootouts from 1966 through this year's round of 16, World Cup keepers have only saved about 11% of penalty kick attempts. Clearly, the players taking the PK have the upper hand, so to speak. Here's why. Some players use feints in the run-up to get the goalie to commit to one direction. And since peripheral vision excels at detecting motion, a shooter can keep his eye on the ball and still see which way the keeper is moving. From the penalty spot, disregarding spin, the shooter's target line can vary laterally by more than 36 degrees. At the point of impact, that essentially equates to adjusting your foot forward or backwards by only about two inches. And precision can be more effective than velocity. The fastest shot we measured so far at this World Cup was a blast fired, appropriately enough, by Brazil's Hulk at 84 miles per hour. It might have left a mark, but not one on the score sheet. Now, when it comes to penalty kicks in shootouts, a goalie's chances kind of improve. Since the first shootout in 1982, only about 70% of PKs have been converted. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brankus.